Good evening, everyone. My name is Alexis Vaughn. I am a first year master's student in the Coastal Marine and Wetland Studies program, working with Dr. Aaron Hackett. My research focuses on the improvement of radar remote sensing for more accurate weather prediction over the ocean. So we all know that weather can change instantaneously, especially here in a coastal environment like Myrtle Beach. We not only have the influences from the atmosphere, but also the ocean that pave the way for our daily weather patterns and our seasonal climate variations. For now, I would like to direct your thoughts to off the coast, where there is also a lot of weather variability. Specifically, the first 100 meters of the air over the surface of the ocean, which is roughly the length of a football field. This portion of the atmosphere and the ocean are constantly exchanging energy in the forms of heat and momentum, as well as exchanging water. This interplay can cause complex environments that are very difficult to predict and are ever changing. This coupling between the ocean and the atmosphere can create a phenomenon called ducting, which is caused by the change in the amount of water present in the atmosphere. This can cause some remote sensing technologies, such as radar, to act differently than expected by trapping that radio frequency energy emitted by the radar and sending it beyond its normal detection range. Say, for instance, we have a US Navy aircraft carrier here in gray that is trying to detect an enemy ship here in orange. If there was a duct present, the radar might return that the enemy ship is 500 kilometers away, when in reality it is 700 kilometers away. So knowing when and where these positioning errors might occur is crucial for defense applications. Additionally, we also know that ocean surface waves, namely local wind waves as well as offshore swell waves, affect radar by modifying the effects of these ducts further enhancing the signal loss due to the environment. Currently, we know the effects of ducts and ocean surface waves on radar separately, but now we want to know their combined effects. So to do this, we generated various complex environments with different wave types and wave heights, as well as different atmospheric conditions that produced various ducting scenarios. We then simulated radar propagating through these environments via a numerical simulation and found that as waves get steeper, there is more signal loss due to the environment. In the future, we hope to apply this work to improving not only the radar systems, but also the interpretation of radar return signals for more accurate weather prediction for defense and meteorological applications. Thank you.